Yes. Happy you anniversary. Just, thank you. Seven years. The seven year itch. Ooh, Look, how are you feeling about that? I'm not I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the itch. I'm not feeling like I need to go or anything like that. That's um, good. That's good. That's good, right? I feel like things are getting better um, every year. So that's a good thing, right? That's a really good thing. It's a really that's good normally thing. Normally it goes the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> you right? start off really good and you're just like, what the fuck am I still doing here? So Yeah, exactly. There you go. It's different, so, right? Yeah, right before we got on, he had sent you some flowers. Some flowers to left them a nice little surprise at home. I know. And I was like, I was asking you, I'm like, so do I have to do something? Or and you <laughs> think you were like, it's Georgia all sexual. Georgia and I were like, sex. It's just sex, head. right? I mean Yeah. Like <laughs> wicked good, like <laughs> sloppy head. Yeah. Oh, you want some anal tonight? Yeah. Okay. It's a yeah. special night, right? I know. The problem is I like to go and eat on my anniversary, mm. like big time. Most most people do. Right. So then you don't want to get into a hardcore anal sesh after a big meal. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it really, de- <laughs> I guess it really depends on what you eat, in all honesty. <laughs> but even just being full, right? Like just in general, you go out, you have a good time, oh, you yeah. eat a bunch, you drink, and then you're like, ugh. Just yeah, like you're not rolling, out. rolling around. Every time, every time now I think of like, oh, just take some laxatives or don't. No. Giorgio's because story. of Giorgio's story. And I yeah. think we asked him, yeah, to refresh anybody's memory, we uh, Giorgio had a story about having sex with a girl that had taken a bunch of laxatives. And when she came, she shit all over him. Um, all over. Beautiful. Welcome to Broettes, right? That would be a very <laughs> memorable seven-year anniversary sex night. Ooh, would it? be like, do you really love me? Because this is going to be a test. This is going to be a real it's test a sh- for you. Literally a shit storm. Uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> uh, so on the last show that I did with Ross, we were talking about the anniversary. And I, for some reason, went into my first crush, which was Brendan Fraser. Do you know oh, him? Oh, oh. Not uh, he from was the very mummy. attractive when he was. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but he was very attractive when he was younger. Yes. But now that he's older. Now that he's older, I find him even more attractive. Fatter. Wait, oh, it's not the guy from The Mummy? No, it is. Oh, you have you seen him? Yeah, but you know I, feel, I, like, I like a bigger, older guy, right? Okay, because he looks a little like. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the I'm trying to think yeah. of the word. <laughs> you, I know exactly. St- yeah, puffy, right? Maybe pills. Uh, right. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> dirty, right? A little fat. Homeless. Yeah. yeah. Homeless. <laughs> but tall. But tall. 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 So mm. that really and trumps. He's probably, <laughs> he's probably still funny. He probably has got a good personality. Right? Right? So you I know. don't know why I went into that. What was your do you remember yours first crush? Oh, I, I mean, Brad Pitt was... Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, uh, from a very, very, very young age, I feel like, was just my obsession. You know what's funny is that I legit still have a picture from high school of us girls. So all of us girls in high school all had a crush. I think I told you this once before. Ooh, and yeah. I drew all of our head, like, I drew all of our faces out and then drew our crushes, like, underneath us. I drew, like, real-life crushes in high school and then our celebrity crushes. And uh, one of the girls, I think it was, I think it was Megan. Megan had the biggest crush on Morgan Freeman. Whoa. In high school. Interesting. And uh-huh. we all just, uh-huh. we were like, what? <laughs> what? Like we all had Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, sure. you know, sure. like Johnny Depp. Right. Uh, and then she had Morgan Freeman and we were like, okay, <laughs> okay, look, she has a type. The older, the better. Do you know who she's with now in real life? Yeah, she married a skinny white dude. Mm. (laughs) But that's why it's interesting. Right. Like you wouldn't want to hear about somebody's crush that I think we've talked about this too. Maybe like if a if your husband is like, ooh, she's hot and they look nothing like you, like like you completely different. You're like, oh, so am I? You know what I mean? Like you kind of want them to type. Right. Like you kind of want it to be in the same vain right so chris's crush were jennifer aniston and megan fox oh so well, i was like there okay. you go so i was like and and so here's the thing too he's been actually mistaken as bradley like i remember the first time we went 
on a date and we were in a hot tub. These girls were like, are you like Bradley Cooper? They knew he wasn't Bradley Cooper. They were just trying right. to just be flirty. And I was like, I find Bradley Cooper very attractive. So I was like, so that works too. Oh, yeah. That's you know, not it's like a, a mix, whatever. Yeah. That's that's you know? a pretty widely known Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. My mom's is Matthew McConaughey. My mom is in love with Matthew McConaughey. Really? Richard Gere and Matthew McConaughey. I get. I used to get down with McConaughey until he started losing all that weight, and then I can. I can't see him any other way now. Like he just seems like oh. sickly, kind of. Like if you, I haven't seen him that skinny yet. Then, um, in ba- uh, Dallas Buyers Club, he lost. Oh no! So he lost all of this fucking weight, um, like a lot. And you're like, dang. Um, and it just seemed like it changed him. His hair is thinner. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so not healthy. Do you know what's weird is that sometimes it, okay, so Jonah Hill, right? Like, I always thought Jonah Hill was, like, funny and kind of, like, you know, he, he was funny and chunky, like the chubby big dude, right? Right. But then all of a sudden when he started losing weight, he wasn't in funny movies anymore. Did you notice that? He wasn't oh, really yeah, in Oh, yeah, now he's many- serious. So, yeah, now he's in serious movies. I'm like, what has to do with the weight that that is your look that depends on attractiveness or rules. I've noticed that. Yeah, because like they're bit. trying to get leading man roles, and leading man roles aren't hilarious, funny, fat guys, right? So true. Yeah, I like him. I like him a funny fat guy. Um, okay, so Brandon Fraser. So you guys are talking about Brandon Fraser on the yeah, uh, and I the re- podcast. Yeah, and I realized like, okay, on our anniversary, I'm talking about my crush the whole time. Oh. <laughs> And then I get flowers and I'm like, okay, and you're right. I need to do some kind of anal, some kind of something (laughs) different, right? Because I've not been off to a good start, let's say. But here's the thing, like for gifts, like part of me think, like, what do you get a guy for anniversary? Like, I know women get them like ties and watches and, you know. We're not there yet. Like what? We know my, yeah, we know my husband. I'd have to get him fucking workout pants and uh <laughs> sweat long socks or something you know what I mean like I can't get him a watch or a tie or anything so I, right at this at yeah. this point it's all sexual stuff just blow his mind in bed and he'll yeah. just be a happy man he'll talk about it for the fucking the, for the another year until your exactly your, eighth year anniversary but again <laughs> I've really got to do it before dinner somehow because True. I am going all out I am going to yes. eat and drink. And after that, yes. I don't want to do shit. So, so it's a problem. Once you go home, you're going to go home. You're going to pick up those flowers. You're going to immediately get naked, put one of those flowers in your hair, and just jump on him before you guys go to dinner. Yeah. I, I like to get it out of the way so that I can yeah. enjoy my dinner. Let's do That's that. Horrible. <laughs> I get, That's horrible. I feel you. That's no, because you get tired and you want to drink. And I get it. I totally get it all yeah. day long. Yeah. So. Um, so there you are in your car. I get to see your beautiful <laughs> face. You look good. Don't worry. You look great. We got a it's little so cleavage. Bright yeah. Mm, no, mm-hmm. no, it's good. The brightness is good. The hair's cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just need to see you, Tiffany. We just need to see your beautiful face. You and know then, what? Um, With this Zoom thing, though, I just realized you could do a virtual background. Yes. Um, I don't know if you can do it on. Yeah, I guess you could. You could. I'm, I'm just curious. Like, I'm going to start. I mean, I'm going to hit up different coffee spots, right? So I'm going to get hit, hit up different coffee shops. But I'm going to put myself in, like, the most random places now. Virtually. Oh, my gosh. Could you make it whatever you wanted background? I think like, so. We- I've seen people do it for Zoom classrooms. Ooh. I know. You could do it's it like your fun. favorite guy on TikTok that does, like, in front. <laughs> 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 You're in love yes. with him. You're in love with him. He's I funny. I love he okay so memes are hilarious as it is right like right. i relate to so many memes but and though he picks a lot of really good ones like he's we're i'm lazy like all of his, his other followers and the fact that i like watching him read the memes like i rather just hear him read them to me than look them up myself so the fact that he get like his laugh is infectious to me and the ones where like he, when he laughs, I laugh. Yeah. And the ones where he laughs without even com- completing it because it's so funny, like those are the ones that get me too. So I, and the reason why I keep posting them is everyone in my inbox on Instagram keeps telling me to do it. They're like, oh my God, I love this dude. This brightens up my day. Please keep posting these. So I just do. It really <laughs> does. 
It does. It's like fun. him seeing him get joy out of it. There's another guy on TikTok. He's a little bit older. Um, he has like he's got like big perfect teeth i forget what his name is but he does the same thing right like he'll does he he does the um your uh, white things white people say he continues to do them right remember we did that show okay like yes i'll define him yeah um and just laughs but it wouldn't be funny if i just read it but him laughing at it somehow it's it's some kind yeah. of human experience. We need to break it down somehow to find out why that makes it better, but it does. It's just fun. Like, you get there. That's why, like, even with Jared, for, for example, like, Jared can tell a stupid joke, but the minute sometimes he laughs, you kind of find it funny too because his laugh's kind of like belly laugh infectious. Or yeah. even like Jack, right? So that's how I feel. Uh, bet that Ben Select dude on TikTok, he has over 3 million followers just from reading memes. And that dude, you get paid, like, I just like I told you before, you get paid on TikTok from views. More and like th- each of his videos has almost like over like two to three million views. That's a lot of fucking money. Each. We're in the wrong business, girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> all this shit He's- you have to drive around to coffee shops trying to find a fucking place. <laughs> like for what? Pennies. For pennies. Pennies. But what uh, is that? <laughs> yeah, you could just sit at home and look for memes and laugh at them. <laughs> I think people would yeah, like that I, from you. That's the funny thing is a lot of people uh, like his laugh though. Some people's laughs are annoying, and on top of that too, some people hate his laugh and they think they think what he's doing is stupid. But because of the fact that they're giving him more like clout and comments and stuff, it gets more people to see his stuff. So he's like, I don't care, keep doing it. Yeah, so exactly. I always found that interesting to have people comment on your stuff to tell you how much they hate it. Yeah. That's always been like unique. To, like who does that? Like just, I don't know. I always found that weird. Like I never thought ever to sit there and be like, I hate your content. Just like. <laughs> it's crazy. Right. And just scroll away. Yeah. It, it's, it's, a, weird. it's a certain type of person that does that. I always just respond to that with like a thank you or like a smiley face <laughs> or like, because it's like you, you're paying attention to me, obviously, right? Yeah. You must. This guy's getting paid for it. So I'm like, good on you, dude. Good on you, dude. Get that head, get that bread. Then leave. Get then that leave. Head, That's what you're going to do. Bread. And leave. Uh, by the way, this weekend I did, so I did a photo shoot. I saw. For my business. American and the Heart? woman, yeah, for American Heart. And the girl that I picked was a bro broette really and i had no fucking clue really well i had a hunch okay so here's the thing so i put out to my personal instagram page like hey i'm looking for a model right and then i put it out to my business page and i probably should have done it on my business page first because i wanted to make sure that i got someone who followed the business who probably already bought something you know not just people looking for opportunity to get some free clothing yeah, yeah just yeah. for shits and giggles yeah and so you'd be, I will say this, I think you'd be surprised by if I was a screenshot, some of the responses, because some of them were just, um, they're interesting. They were oh. interesting responses. Okay. You know, uh, I mean, and I, I guess I admire some of the honesty, but someone's like, I'm just in it for the free clothes. It's like, well, I don't, you know, I mean like, okay, cool. So needless to say, uh, this girl, Red Riz, hit me up, and she wrote me. She was very sweet, very kind, very humble. It was like, hey, um, I'm sure that you have a, a thousand girls hitting you up, but I just want to let you know that I am the size small medium that you're looking for. I am super comfortable in front of a camera. I'm extroverted for the video and stuff. I would be honored and humbled um, to be considered for this, and I understand that you probably have someone picked out. But And she said something like, I love and support you tiffers or something and once she said tiffers you're like I knew oh. that i was like i think she listens to the podcast yeah. and then at, at the end of it she was like thanks so much for the consideration like it was the sweetest most i was like oh my god and i was immediately taken back and in love with her already so i looked at her instagram page and uh i couldn't really see much of her right because i was like okay like she's she looks cute and then i looked at who she was following and it was all like bros and broettes right like a lot of the podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. individuals and i said you know what i am going with my gut like my hunch i feel really good about this chick she showed up she is fine as fuck dude like she showed up and i was like jackpot she's yeah. gorgeous like yeah 
I'm saying naturally, she she doesn't have to wear any makeup. She has like this beautiful curly dark black hair. She has an amazing beautiful skin complexion. She's got like this olive skin. She's in phenomenal shape, Jesse. And on top of her just looking fantastic, her personality is out of the fucking world. Like she was immediately we hugged and we're jumping around and having fun. And when I found out she was a broette, I was like, dude, this makes sense. She brought up the podcast a lot. Nice, which is fun. <laughs> Because she was like, remember when you guys talked about this? Remember when you guys talked about that? And I was like, she listens to all of them. Nice. Uh, I fucking love her. Like, she, I told her already, I was like, you're going to be my go-to. But to me already, I think that shows the type of people that are in the bro and broette community. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, to me, once I had, like, a hunch that she was in that community, I was like, there's no, go- I feel like there, I can't go wrong here. No. Because uh, everyone's really fucking chill. They're easygoing. She, like, had a good time, but took it seriously. Um, and the pictures turned out fucking fire. Yeah, so. and usually broettes are just like chill, go with the flow kind of people. So she wouldn't she be, is. I wouldn't see them being divas or like nope. needing certain things. Like that's the whole vibe of broettes anyways is just like, dude, we're not guys, but we definitely can chill. Just chill. Correct. Right? That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I saw some I of the stuff on the story. She just looked, she was doing some kind of like leg lift, pull up thing. I was like, dang. Yes. Okay. Angela. Angela. Angela's her name. I fucking love Angela. It's red dot Riz, R-I-Z-Z on Instagram. If you guys want to flutter with all the fucking love. She's fucking amazing. So And I saw her, I um, saw you do a thing. She was like be bopping down the down the street. I was like, Yes. Those are gonna be so here's good what's funny. pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So she was like, I've never done this before. You're gonna have to like help me out. She's like, I literally YouTubed how to model. <laughs> Oh my god. And I was like, girl, I don't even I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing most of the time. But she did so good. And the the moments where she was just like all sassy because she was feeling it and looking good, I was like, Yes, girl! Yeah. She like it worked out very, very well. So needless to say, I was she was like humbled and honored. And then at the end, I gave her like I gave her all the free shit that I could, and she was like, What? And it was still to me, that those are the people that I want to work with. You know? Yeah. Instead of like, I don't want a girl to be like, oh, can I have this? Oh, can I have that? Oh, why, why can't I have these leggings type of thing? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And those were some of the ones I was afraid if I would choose and if she based upon the responses. Yeah, if she wasn't a broette, that's probably how it would be. It could have. <laughs> I don't, you don't even know. So, well, you know, I, yeah. Yeah. But that was fucking awesome. So I mm. had to give her a little shout out there because... <laughs> she even talked about the episode that you and I had talked about your body count number. Oh, yeah. And she was like, dude, mine's like zero. Oh, for, oh, yeah. What did I say? Like two, two maybe three? Yeah. I think yeah. you said three. Mine's three. Yeah. Hers actually said, she goes, zero. technically, I guess mine's three, but she goes, because, but we talked about it. And we had to actually inform the photographer. He was like, what are you guys talking about? And she's like, well, if you listen to the podcast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we can't tell you what like, we're yes. talking about. You need to listen to the podcast. <laughs> it was fun. I love so, that. I know. That was a good time. That really was. Um, there. yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, excited about, did she do the athletic wear stuff? She did. Okay. Yeah, cool. she did. Perfect. Yep. People athletic are asking wear, the, about that. The jacket, that, uh, crop top that you have, that, uh, tie dyed one. Yeah. Everyone was freaking out about that one. So oh, yes. actually here actually i have a funny little story for you and i'm curious if you get the same thing okay because i feel like a lot of women do so i here i am i'm um tie-dyeing all of the crop hoodies last night at least the first batch that i get in, right yeah so i'm wrinkling them all up and i'm putting rubber bands on them in the guest bedroom and about ready to put dye on them in the bathtub and i can hear chris in the kitchen and he's doing the dishes and he's like cleaning up and I was like, oh, my God. I was like, I didn't have to ask him. I was like, this is so fucking sweet. Wow. I was like, I am so, like, I was happy. I was, like, joyous inside. I was like, dude, I'm going to probably take a break and go, you know, fuck him tonight. Cause yeah. Because <laughs> I'm, like, so, I was just so happy. Yeah. And he was doing it all on his own. And, yeah. So then, uh, five minutes later, he comes in the room and says, I just did the whole pile of dishes. <laughs> the huge pile is all done. You're welcome for everything I do. We 
would you congratulate me and give me a cookie? And then would you like your, a gold star? Yeah, and then your boner just went down, right? Yes. The lady boner went immediately soft. Yeah, I was like, and I looked at him, I go, why'd you just tell me that? Yep, yep. I was like, oh. why'd you just tell me that? He's like, well, I'm just letting you know because uh, so we make sure to put the dishes uh, into the dishwasher, not in the sink. And I was like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Was, um, was he mm. then telling you to do something? N- I don't know. Like when they so say the dishes, we, by the way, when they say we, what they mean is me. like you. Yeah. So when we, I know. just so you know, when we, so, um, sorry, it's my anniversary. I'm still going to say it, but <laughs> he'll be like, do Hey, it. we need to get some more trash bags. And I'm like, you mean me me so you're telling me but they don't want to say get some because that sounds very you know what I mean traditional husband like but that's really Mm -hmm. what they're saying and nothing pisses me off more than when he says we need to same Mm. Mm. same Mm. there I'm like we have a fucking magnetic notepad on the motherfucking refrigerator for you to write stuff down when we run out of it and if you really need it right away, you just go get it. You there know? you go. And like part of me, no joke, like while I was sitting there crumpling up the rest of the fucking shirts, I was starting to get like a little bit like, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. 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 you know, okay. Gosh. I thought to myself, you're like a toddler, dude, who comes out and goes, mom, I took a shit. Yeah, exactly. I took a shit, mom. In the I potty. Pooped. In the potty. I pooped in the potty. And it's like, did you wipe your butt? Uh, no, uh, I tried, you know, right. it's like, right. oh, it's right. But not even that, because like, at least with a toddler, you know, that's like something that's like a good accomplishment. Right. But like now it's like him as like a 35 year old being like, Tiff, mm-hmm. I took I took a shit and yep. I wiped my butt. It's like, congratulations. Would you like me to give you a pat on the back and like sucker? So, what do you want? So for the guys out there, we can give them that at least tip of she heard, for example, like Tiffany heard her husband doing the dishes downstairs without doing anything, just like wanting to do something nice for his wife. She got a lady boner. Not not even just for me, being a responsible adult and taking care of the house. That's it, without being told to do so. Right. You know. But in a way, it's like, hey, in my mind, I'm thinking like he's thinking that he's going to do it so that I don't have to, right? So there's different layers of it. Um, And... Guys, so you now hear that when he came up and said, I did it, that's it. It takes away everything that you did. So just try, maybe try doing that. And by the way, nothing is sexier than a guy doing dishes. Unprompted, happily, and just doing them and not saying anything about it. Nothing is sexier. I know that's crazy, but there's so many layers to it that like, has you know the resentment goes away all of the stuff like try it just try it don't say I did it just try it like maybe have her walk in and see that they're done maybe even that right maybe not making such a loud loud noises with like doing the dishes like okay we hear you you're doing them got it yeah that's a pro tip I like that one sometimes I think that you may or may not agree with me on this. Sometimes I think we have set the bar way too low for men. Yeah. In, yeah. My, in my mind. It's like, I've heard a lot of comments of people saying that when a woman watches the kid, it's like her, it's her job. But when a guy does it, he's babysitting. Yep. It's like, no, dude, those are your kids. You're not babysitting your own kids. Those are your children. You're watching yeah. them. You're yeah. taking care of them. And that's yeah. not also your job. That's what you do as a parent. It's not your job. Yeah, it's it's a responsibility as a parent when you chose to have sex with someone and oh, we're right. having a baby like we both take care of them. Right. Um, I know like I know there's some people out there that still have like very traditional gender roles. I know there's sometimes that it works easier in relationships when someone's like, you know, when the guy's like, cool, I'll take care of the outside stuff. And the girl's like, cool, I'll take care of the inside stuff with Chris's and I relationship. We do both. We don't really have like certain things like for me, like he does his own laundry. You know, like if you want your laundry clean and if you want it done at a certain time, listen, I, you know, I have multiple jobs. You have a job, you know, you're a responsible adult. You can do your own laundry right? Uh, type of thing. And that works for us. Right. Because mainly because he was <laughs> he would uh, I would do his laundry and he would leave all the stuff in his pockets and then he would destroy all of our stuff. Right. And I was like, that's enough. But 
to me, like, I don't want to have to every single time he does the dishes once a week when there's dishes every night and he sweeps the floor once a week when, you know, the floor should be swept often to be like, you know what, congratulations, like, and give him this whole, you've done a good job. Because to me now it's like they're looking for that ex- being exalted when it's just, that's his bare minimum stuff. Like if I wasn't here, who would do it? Right. You. Right. So <laughs> part of me is like, okay, I get it. We all have different things we pay attention to. I might not look at the lawn as often. Right. And think to myself, oh, the lawn, the lawn needs a trimming today. Yeah. But if the lawn needs to be done, I'll fucking do it. Do you have a push um, lawnmower or a ride? No, we have a ride. Dude, I'd do it every fucking day. If that was my I, job, if like it was <laughs> different and like he would be inside doing dishes and cleaning up fucking poop off carpets, which my love that child did the other night. Like if it was I reversed, love that for you. I would be sitting on that lawnmower with a fucking rosé and maybe a jewel fucking cap on <laughs> my buy cap on from American Heart and I would just I would just keep mowing all day long. I'd be like, "Oh, I can go yeah. shorter. I can go shorter." And I would just go back and forth all day. It looks amazing. So, yeah, that's their job. Calm down. Do you know what I mean? Like Yeah, and so that's what I said. Well, when I was younger, my dad used to have us do certain chores like that. We picked up the dog poop, we would mow the lawn sure. with the pusher, you know? Sure. Like my dad guys used to these things cuz they were like, "Hey, if you guys want I mean, I know that sounds weird, but they were like, if you guys are going to have allowance, we're, you guys are going to earn it. So, right. And they, they put us to work. Good on them. Yeah. Um, but I'm just saying at this point for me, like while I'm still happy, don't get me wrong. I, I look forward to the day where he just this, does the dishes and it, neither of us bat an eye at it. Right? right. Just like when I did the dishes, no one bats an eye at it. Right. I look forward to that day. But at least if right now, just like you said, I will still like, I was still like, thank you. Yes. In my heart. Yeah. But then later on when it's. I've seen videos. I've seen funny memes of people doing videos of this before where the guy's like, hey, I changed the kid's diaper. Just to let you know. Yeah. yeah. I changed the diaper. Hey, I took out the trash. Or hey. there, there was a funny one. I don't know if you posted it. You probably did. But it was like a guy going around his house showing his wife what these magical elves will do. Um, and he's like, <laughs> he puts, he was like, look, if you just throw the laundry on the ground when you wake up, It'll be gone. You know what I mean? And she's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. A magical oh, yeah. elf, huh? Because that's fucking me. Like <laughs> all of this stuff just disappears and you, they don't even think about it. And so look, on my anniversary, I won't get too far into it. We'll do it on another show, right? We'll do it on, on another show and I'll go into all the stuff. But yeah, I like that. You know, I like that he did the dishes. And a good so pro I. tip, a good pro tip is to just do it and not say anything, guys. Try it out. Just try it. Try it. And if she doesn't give you any love, telling you. then go upstairs and be like, hey, I yeah. did the fucking dishes, right? But you give it a second. And they give look it a fucking second. good. Because she was yeah, about to it. run down there and have sex with him. And then he ruined it, right? Now look. I was just, yeah. So <laughs> You were so there close. There you have it. You're I've heard so a lot cool. of, I have heard so many wives talk about this before. All my friends. Oh, yeah. And, and right. It's just like a common thing where they're just like, why do they? Common thing. You know, and by the way, and I, I'm sure they have common things that they talk about us. Right. And it's just like, oh God, are sure. we ever going to change? I don't know. Like, it's just always going to be that same conversation. And this, just like I said, too, there's certain things that we look at more. There's certain things guys look at more, and I don't know if it's because it's something that was ingrained in us when we were younger, right? Or like things we care about more. Like yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying is he'll probably he looks at other things when I don't. So he'd probably be like, "Dude, Tiff never even mowed the lawn when I was gone for the week." And the guys would be like, "Oh, what the fuck, dude?" And yeah. I'm like, "Oh, it looks great still." Yeah. So I, you never know. I bet it goes both ways. But exactly. either way, guys, pro tip. There you are. Pro <laughs> tip: Don't say anything. Just do it. Try it out. See what happens. Um, yeah. we are going to get into, get into some sponsors if I can talk yes. and then we're going, we have a advice, someone, um, and again, guys send in your advice. We do an advice segment after sponsors every show. And we also have a broette of the week. So stay tuned. Um, first up we have ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. You guys know it. You love it. Um, right now they're doing 30% off a bundle package. 
Um, this is, I mean, if you don't know, Ghost Bed is the premier bed in a box. There's all different kinds of brands that I could name. I'm not going to. You see them on TV. They're not good. Ghost Bed is. They're the best. They're going to be prompt. Uh, customer service is awesome. They love the Drinking Bros community. They're doing 30% off a bundle package. So get a mattress, pillows, sheets, get an adjustable base, get 30% off that, then do a 36 month pay as you go program. You're going to be comfy cozy for like 38 bucks or something a month. You can't beat it. They also always do 30% off for first responders, military people in the government and teachers. So go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros and be comfy cozy and it's Halloween. So sleep so good. It's scary, right? I mean, mm-hmm. this is their month. This is their month. Um, right. Next up, we have strikeforceenergy.com. I'm going to I'm gonna need some. I'm going to need some after this. What do you think? You have work Careful. to do after this, right? You have yes. some. Packages some, in the gym. Yep. So we'll do, what do you do? Are you up to a full packet yet of Strike Force, Or are you still no, on I'm the like half? No, I'm like three-fourths now. I'm so, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I bumped it. We bumped it I up. I bumped it. You guys, be I careful with this stuff. It is really good energy. It's not going to make you yeah. jittery, but... You definitely need to like see how much you want for any given thing. You want to go crazy at the gym, take a full packet. If you just want a little bit of energy, you can take a half or just a little bit in your drink. It's liquid energy that mixes with any liquid you have. Um, Strikeforceenergy.com. Enter promo code LADYBONER for 20% off. Um, Best energy in the biz. We love it and we use it. Oh, one thing right. yeah i was told too really quick by one of our broettes was that she did the little shot in her mouth mm-hmm. <laughs> what happened was it and okay she, did she, we kill her she was like uh i my taste buds were feeling oh, it for yeah. like and I, everything everything tastes it like whatever that flavor was so what i would recommend is what a lot of if a lot of people do put that powder in their mouth a lot of people don't just put powder straight in their mouth at least from what i know they right. put a little bit of water and then the powder and like shake it up, right? Oh, okay, okay. Because that's probably really going to, I mean, the minute that that powder or liquid in liquid, I, in, in um, Strike Force's case, that liquid energy, that's going to like hit your tongue right away. So I would recommend putting a little bit of water yeah, in maybe. That's true. With that. <laughs> I think we were so drinking. So your taste buds we aren't like, woo! Yeah, I think woo! we were drinking when we told people to do that. <laughs> we <laughs> probably just were. Just shoot it in your mouth. That's just cool. shoot it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck not? You be hard. <laughs> yes. So. Um, and go check out our sponsors. They support us um, so we can be here for you. So just go give them a little look-see. Um, yes. All right. Let's get into some advice. Let's give some advice to some peeps. Okay. So we have advice from a bro at today. So she said, hey, ladies, I went back and forth about writing this, honestly, because I know What I did is so fucked up, but I need some real true advice. And I know you guys will give it to me. So first of all, I went through a really hard time in the past year with being home and jumping into being a teacher of three to children of all different ages. And I think I've dealt with some issues of trying to find myself in life lately too. So anyways, enough with that. Backstory is I'm married and I have been with the same man going on for 10 years now. We have been married for seven And we have three kids together, but I feel like all he does is work. And so everything else is just left up to me. I started feeling lonely and grew a lot of hate towards him. A guy came in the picture and was so sweet. And he was just talking to me and giving me all the attention. And we started to have an affair. It's been going on for months now. And I knew it was nothing but sex just for him. But I did start developing feelings for him. Well, come to find out, he started talking to another woman that I know. When I asked him about it, he basically cussed me out and told me that I didn't have uh, that he didn't have time for a jealous woman who's actually married. So now I'm having issues with myself about what to do. The affair is definitely over and it has been, but my heart still feels broken over it, not only for myself, but also for my husband. I don't know how to tell him what I did because I feel like I will lose everything, including our children. I know it's hard for me, even though I didn't. I know it's hard for me to even think about it all. Like, I can't even believe that I did anything like this. I've been drinking a lot in order to try and hide my feelings, which is obviously not helping anyone, especially my children. I just need advice on how to handle this all. And yes, I have been tested to make sure I didn't catch anything from this guy. And thank God it all came back clean. 
But at this moment, I'm just besides myself on how I let all this shit happen. I'm not the type of person to cheat, and I never did anything like this before in my life. And by the way, I just want to say I love you guys all so much. And I only messaged you all because I know I will get the hard, honest truth that I need. Right. Um, first of all, stop beating yourself up. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, cheating, as we know, is a symptom of something else. Right? So there was something else happening in the marriage that you guys didn't address. So I would be more kind of upset about that than the actual thing that came of it right um personally but uh I guess is she asking if she should tell him or not what do you think she I feel like she I mean she seemed to be a little I think anything at this moment I think just what any girl would any girl advice right either it's like girl what the fuck did you just do right type of thing like do you really still want to be in this marriage do you really do love him is that why you had the affair or is it something that you want to work on do you think you should tell him type of thing I mean I feel like there's so many different avenues we can even go down here yeah like I wouldn't confuse feeling bad about the affair with wanting to be in the marriage still right like you need to separate those two and act as if you didn't even do that and really look at it like is this Mm -hmm. something that I want because to get to that point, things have to be pretty bad, right? Especially if what yeah. you're saying is that you're not a cheater, you don't have wandering eyes, you're not always like, do you know what I mean? If you're not that type of person, then you really need to look at why the affair happened. And in that, you guys are both at fault. So it's a better way to look at it as far as like, instead of you just being like, I'm a horrible person, oh my God. You can take that out of it and say, what did we both do to get to that point, right? Mm -hmm. Um, First of all, secondly, I think the only way, this is for me, the only way I would personally be able to move forward, however that's going to happen, is telling him. Only because if he finds out some other way, it's 100% over, right? If you tell him maybe in therapy, maybe at a, you know, a calm moment or something, it will, that will be, I think, your only chance of making it work if that's what you want. What do you think? Yeah, I think, I think the first thing that she really needs to do, just like you said, is take a step back and really assess that if she really wants to be in this marriage or not still. Yeah, like... and not just stay because of kids. You no. can't, you know, I know a lot of people think that it's it's smart and it's better for a couple to stay together for their children. But in reality, it's not. If your kids are seeing a very unhealthy relationship that's toxic and that's their example and the only example that they ever see growing up for a long time of what love really is, they're going to have toxic relationships and do this and follow in the same footsteps. And that's not what you want. You want to give your kids the best life. And if you want to give them the best mother and the best father, you can. And if the best mother and father is separated and happy, then that's better than being together and miserable. And and to me, Um, so I would just do a lot of soul searching and get into your heart and ask yourself without this guy in the picture, without the guy that you cheated on, do you still really want to be with your husband? Is he giving you everything that he can? Is this going to get, could this ever get better? Do you think? And by the way, like, are you willing to do everything it'll take in order to mend your relationship too? Because, um, with you cheating, you have betrayed his trust. You've broken the trust. Um, and trust is a major thing for a relationship. So it's going to take a while to rebuild that back up and who knows what he's going to ask in return for that. So is, Are you going to be willing to work on those things for him? And do you also think that he will be willing to work with you? And if in your head, if you're just kind of like sitting there, you know, convincing yourself to do it, but you really don't feel it in your heart, then I think you kind of know your answer. Um, If you do really want to make it work, I would, I'm going to be on the same page as Jesse. I'm going to say, I do think there has to, we have to tell him at some point. You have to tell him. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that, if I found out my significant, my, ma- like, you know, my spouse was cheating on me from their mouth before I found out any other way, I have a lot more respect and a lot more 
and a little bit more trust built up because of that. If I have to find out because I saw something or because I heard something mm-hmm. or some from someone else, mm-hmm. that breaks down so much more and it may, and it's going to be build this fear in me, make me wonder like are they going to do it again? So I think it'd be best if you were the the first one to make that um to make that move and to let him know. Now, Jesse had also recommend it. She she talked about therapy and I would highly recommend if you are going to most likely talk with him and maybe even the first time you want to introduce this to him is do this in therapy. You have yeah. a mediator there. Yeah. You have someone who can talk this out easily. You have no idea how he's going to react. I don't, we don't know him that well. Um, and it might give you an opportunity to really talk it all out and give you an extra person there to help kind of support you and telling him what you really want to say. And if, if that, you know, if you want to move forward with the relationship. Um, but the thing is, is, no one made you cheat. You chose to do that on your own. However, there is a problem in your marriage. And that takes, and a problem takes two. Uh, you guys both have things you guys need to work on. So what I would say is, you know, you made mistakes and he made mistakes. To me, can you sit there and say like, oh, well, your mistake was worse than mine. I don't, I don't think you should do that. I think a fuck up's a fuck up. Whether someone treats you like shit and he's not giving you the love that you deserve. I mean, both people, I'm sure, are making mistakes. So you guys just have to be able to work at that out together. I you personally know? think she she does want out. I mean, I think it was pretty telling that uh, when she was describing what happened, uh, she wasn't saying anything kind of good about her husband, right? Like, he's such a great guy. I fucked up, blah, blah, blah. It was things that are still she feels all alone she feels alone he works all the time that's all he cares about uh that was how she led off the conversation right so those yeah, things don't yeah sound, she feels all alone those things and don't sound like they're gonna right change um so it's it's so messy the only thing is like i think she's maybe thinking about like should i just not tell him and like move on it's a way I personally don't know if I could even sleep at night or if if I'm like out drinking or I would worry about every day when I woke up, did I say his name in the, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to live like that, right? Because it is possible that he never finds out. It is possible. It doesn't usually happen, but but it's possible that he never finds out and you can just live your life that way. But gosh, what a life is that? Are you going to be happy though? You know what I mean? Like, are you going to be happy living with this lie? Are you going to be happy staying in this marriage that you don't really want to be in? And you're going to start literally, I'm telling you right now, you're going to start daydreaming about that dude that you were having an affair with right? or, you know, or want him. And the thing is too, is like, you'll get flashbacks too. Oh yeah. You'll be like, "Uh." like, correct. Guys are going to talk about, guys have talked about this before that when a guy has sex, traditionally like guys just have sex without a lot of emotions involved. Like guys can have sex without being in love with a, a girl and just do it just to do it. Right. But, and when they say traditionally when a guy cheats, now this is in statistics and stuff like this. So I don't know how true it is, but they say traditionally when a guy cheats, it's just because it's like, it's a immediate it's something immediately that they just want. It's a instant gratification. It, yeah. Thank you. Instant gratification. And it's kind of just like an oopsie. They still love you. They're still, apparently they're still in love with you. They just fucked up. But they say that when traditionally a woman cheats, she's already made her mind up. She's checked out. She, ha- you have, you have pushed her far away. Like her heart is closed off because you have made her feel unloved and she's all alone. And guess what? She's now reaching out to someone else who could be that rock and be there for her. And it kind of seemed as if she almost did a little bit. I don't know how long she was with this guy having an affair, but yeah, she was having, she was getting feelings for him, obviously. Yeah. And he was giving her everything that she was not getting from her husband. So, yeah. So this is a, this is a tough one. I think we'll just say, um, don't beat yourself up. It's not something that is, uncommon you're not the only you know it doesn't make you a horrible person um just really look at it from a place of like what led me to that point because many 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 people get there and it's not usually just because they want to be uh you know have sex with someone else and just be like a little fuck girl or whatever but um there are other things at play I would look at that 
And um, we just don't want you to beat yourself up. It's not like you're the only person in the world that's gone through this. It's very, very common. So um, just move forward in the best way that you can for your family, whatever that means. And we would love updates and, um, and good luck. Like it's messy, but you're not all alone. Believe me, you're not all alone out there. There's many people that are listening that go, that are going to be nodding their heads like, yep, been there, been there. And they've probably gotten to the other side and it's not the end of the world and you're not going to die. It just may be different, whatever that means for you. Um, But yeah, give us an update. Thank you for writing in. Um, We now have a bro out of the week, right? We do. This Bro of the Week nomination is from David Trujillo. Uh, he's a man fan of us. He said, ladies, I'd like to nominate my fiance, Karen. Uh, let me get to why I think she should be the great. She is the greatest bro of my life. And when I say life, I really mean my life. Uh, we met in November of 2014 on Tinder. I know it wasn't a booty call like everyone normally says. Um, when we met, I just got out of a very toxic relationship with my ex. Karen had showed me a whole new way of life um, with love and communication and just all together. She's just a badass. She has been my rock and I can't believe that she's actually mine. She is beautiful inside and out. She has also accepted my three kids and has been there every step of the way. She has literally been there through every bump and fall. So in March of 2017, when I was 41 years old, I found out that I'd have open heart surgery to repair my mitral uh, valve after them initially thinking it was pneumonia. So boom, fast forward to 2018. While watching a show together at night, my beautiful fiance next to me, I went into cardiac arrest and I wasn't responding at all. So she jumped on top of me, started doing compressions. She called for 911 and they took me to the hospital and rushed me and I was able to survive. I literally would not be here today if it wasn't for her. So um, basically, and the last kicker on all of it, my ex had passed away in 2020 and we now have custody of my three kids and she's taken the role of a stepmom. It has been nothing short of amazing. Um, and literally taking them on as her own. If she isn't deserving a drinking brew of the day, month or year, lifetime, I don't know what is. So Karen, this goes out to you. Karen. She's not the traditional Karen. I she's know, not the traditional giving, Karen. Yeah. You're giving Karen a better name, huh? Karen. You That's are. what a real giving- Karen is. Love You gave it. Karen some uh, big to energy. That's for sure. <laughs> That's a real bitch right there. Taking care of business, taking care of family, saving lives, being a badass. Absolutely. That's yeah. a broette of the week. I cheers to you, Karen. Um, and cheers to you, Tiffany. You look great. I'd love for that to be zipped down a little bit more, but that's just me. There you go. Give the people. Just all you got. <laughs> all you got to do is ask. There you all you got to do is ask. There you go. <laughs> Uh, um, just prepping you up for tonight's for festivities tonight's with the hubs. Happy with anniversary, my... Jables. Thank you. <laughs> um, I am very happy to be with my amazing husband, Ross Patterson. Happy anniversary to him. And this was a good way to uh, to start off the day with my friend Tiff. And then I'm going to dinner. And who knows? Uh, maybe I won't eat so much and I'll have some kind of sexual fun. But probably we'll not. We'll hear about it Wednesday. Yeah. You're going to spill all I'll the tea you know on Wednesday. All, the stuff. <laughs> yeah. all right, girl. We will talk to you guys on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.